Hello children it's story time once again with Manjeet and the story we're going to listen today is about the thirsty crow Mr and Mrs Crow sat sipping their morning water on the railing of the balcony of Appy's house There's not enough water in our bowl today said Mrs Crow I can barely dip my beak in it That's what she said Oh yes oh yes said Mr Crow Let me call out to Appy to fill our bowl Ka 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 Oh Mr Crow you're forgetting your manners you're just going ka 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 Add a please to that Mr Crow Oh yes oh yes Ka ka please please ka ka please please Appy came out to the balcony and looked at Mr and Mrs Crow to check what was this commotion this noise all about Mrs Crow pointed to a near empty bowl Oh I get it said Appy No water in your bowl but I just filled it a couple of hours ago have you both been having a water fight or something mm. ah no no not at all far from it said mrs crow we've just been doing what we heard on the television and what is that asked appy well just like you've been washing your hands we've been washing our beaks and feet It just keeps going on the television now. Stay clean, wash hands. Oh, that is so great, said Appy. You've been really good citizens, or should I say good bird citizens? Oh, yes. We've been washing our our hands, our feet, and also all the food that we eat, you know. Every piece of fruit that we eat. every worm every grasshopper every seed every grain and every eggshell oh that's amazing said happy yes we just keep listening to what your mama tells you and we just follow and you know mr crow has been spreading this message to all the other crows and birds as well aha good job mr crow you've been doing a swell job of spreading this word and and you know and and to do all this you know we need water and that's why you see our bowl is near empty oh you're so right it's my fault i never realized that i will just fill up the bowl with water but but meanwhile a uh, mr and mrs crow Could you just pose for a selfie just the two of you? I have to complete a school project, you know, and the project is on staying safe during COVID. And both of you are perfect examples. Uh and what do they say in the adult language? You perfect case studies. Oh, why not? Why not? said Mrs. Crow. I just make sure you catch my clean shining beak in the selfie okay here we go come on mr crow put your hand on my shoulder <laughs> laughed happy right so as she was taking the selfie mrs crow remembered something else but hey wait a minute we haven't been able to get a mask for ourselves yet it says on the tv wear a mask while stepping out mr crow and i have been flying out sometimes to get some food but we don't have a mask <coughs> oh you don't worry about that said appy i'll ask mummy to make a couple of them for you and meanwhile here is some water for you and yes by the way mr and mrs crow you don't need to fill pebbles in your bowl to bring the water up i'll take care of it for you you no longer the thirsty crow that had to put pebbles in the jar to make the water rise and this is the day children that the story 
of the thirsty crow has changed forever. Sometimes you see, just sometimes, you need to break old patterns and old habits to meet new challenges. And Mr. and Mrs. Crow, on the other hand, became the first two birds to set an example of staying safe and staying clean. Yeah!